Greetings, good evening, time check, it's 11.02 p.m. Tonight, I am filming a solo vlog about tips and tricks on how to become a DOSD scholar. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you will be notified on our next videos. If you are interested, please keep on watching. bragging anything here i just want to lend a hand through this video because i know seeds to become a dost scholar is really really an honor and we all know that dost scholarship is one of the best government scholarships and it is really enjoyable and useful despite the fact that you will have to make an effort of course what you reap is what you sow unfortunately some of you misunderstood what dost scholarship is so before going to our main topic I will give you an overview of what DOST, Science Education Institute, Undergraduate Scholarship is all about. DOST SEI Undergrad Scholarship is administered by the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. It is for the pursuance of a priority program in the field of science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, leading to a Bachelor of Science degree. It aims to stimulate and entice talented Filipino youths to pursue careers which can steer the country to towards national progress. There are two types of scholarship. First is the Republic Act 7687 or also known as Science and Technology Scholarship Act of 1994 and second is the Merit Scholarship Program. I am a proud RA qualifier. The only difference between the two is the family's annual gross income. Ibig sabihin kapag hindi lalagpas ng 300k ang annual income ng parents niyo ay magiging RA applicant ka at kung lalagpas naman ng 300k ay magiging Merit applicant ka. If we talk about annual gross income, you really need to issue an income tax of your parents because that is one of the requirements. For your information, just check my description box because I placed a link there about all the information you need to know about the said scholarship. I know you're so thrilled now to know what are the tips, but before that again, I'm gonna present to you the scholarship privileges. Para mas exciting naman, di ba? First in line is the tuition fee and other school fee, which is 40k per academic year. This is applicable to those passers who will enroll at a private university. Siyempre, kung mag ka or other state university, wala namang tuition fee, kaya sa private university lang ito ma-apply. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na literal na mahahawakan mo o matanggap ang 40k dahil ang DOST na mismo ang maproseso sa tuition fee mo. Second, ang book allowance which is 10k per academic year. Para sa akin lang, lalo na ngayon, marami na tayong source of information. So pwede mag-google ka na lang, mag-search ka na lang sa internet para hindi ka na bumili ng libro. Kasi pwede mo itong magamit bilang financial assistance sa family mo or pwede rin pang matrikula sa kapatid mo. O ba diba, napaka-useful ng book allowance. Third, Transportation expenses to those scholars who will study outside the region or outside the province. In my case, my place of study is just here in Bohol. I am an incoming freshman of Bohol Island State University taking up Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Kasi hindi ako pinayagan ng parents ko na mag-outside Bohol. Pero okay na okay lang yun kasi guys, I mean saves. Paiso na yan, free tuition plus powerhouse nila ang course ng engineering. So God bless na lang sa akin. Moving on is the group health and insurance. Pero sabi ng aming provincial director, prevention is better than cure. Mas magandang iwas-iwas tayo sa mga accident tips para hindi din tayo malet behind sa ating pag-aaral. Next is the 7K monthly allowance. In my case, mas makakatipid ako dahil dito lang ako sa Bohol. Wala akong rental fee. Ano pa ba? Other fees. <coughs> Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na ang mga scholar o ang mga studyante yung lalabas sa bola ay hindi na makakatipid. Nasa studyante pa rin yan at kung paano niya pagdidiskartihan ang kanyang allowance. Pero tinod lang siya po niya mas makatipid ka kung napuyo ka ka. Ari, hindi ka ako. Ang mas kaya-kaya yung pinahanap yung mga parents. Yung family. Okay. Next is the clothing allowance which is 1,000. It is intended for the PE uniform. So magagamit ito sa unang year ng ating college life. Next is my favorite scholarship which is the thesis allowance. It is 10,000 per scholar. Worthy talaga kapag ang co-researchers mo 
ay puro Diyos Scholar. Di ba minimum of 3 researchers yan? So, kung kayong lahat ay Diyos Scholar, meron na kayong 30K para sa thesis nyo. Hindi nyo na kailangan pang manghingi ng pera sa parents nyo. So, nakatulong na talaga kayo sa thesis nyo at nakatulong na rin kayo sa parents nyo dahil hindi na kayo na hindi pa ng pera. And lastly is the graduation allowance which is 1,000. Wait, there's more! If you belong to a university which requires a summer class, then worry don't more because DOST also showed the scholars who will be having a summer class. Pero later na yan natin i-discuss pa. Ang focus natin ngayon ay ang tips and tricks. Finally, we arrived to our main discussion. I'm gonna share to you the tips and tricks that I've learned from and um, UP Katugong Bulan and UP Katribul and my personal experiences na rin. Always bear in mind that these tips and tricks are not only limited and not only intended for the OST exam. You can also use this for your other college entrance exam. Before examination. First, review your lessons. But don't pressure yourself too much. Study smart but not study hard. Internalize and not memorize. Based on my experience, hindi talaga ako nagpus-pus ang review. Parang ni-refresh ko lang ang mga natutunan ko sa junior high school life ko. Pero depende yan sa inyo. Second, find a study group or study buddy. In my case, I had a study buddy. Pero kung gusto niyo mag-self-study, then okay rin yan kung yan ang makakapabuti sa iyo. Third, evaluate yourself. You should know your weaknesses and strengths. Kung mahina ka sa math, then focus more on math. If mahina ka sa English, then focus more on English. Like the vocabulary words, the reading comprehension, marami yung parts. Mas mag-focus ka sa weaknesses mo than your strengths. Next is try the DOST sample reviewer. So I still have my DOST sample reviewer. Wait lang, nasan ba yun? This is my DOST sample reviewer. During the application period, the DOST will give you a link of your sample reviewer. And SIVs, believe me, the same format lang ang lalabas sa actual exam. So, don't forget to download the link. In my case, I downloaded the reviewer the moment I received the link. But, I print and review it the night before the actual DOST exam. Saves, ganyan ako ka-chill kasi ang isipan ko ay mas nag-focus sa birthday ko kasi the day after the DOST exam is my 18th birthday. Nakatutuwa talaga isipin na napasa ko ang DOST exam kahit hindi naman puspusan ang pag re ko. At na-realize ko rin na depende talaga yan sa strategy nyo kung paano kayo mag-review. Last and definitely not the least is apply. Sibs, this is the most important. You need to fill out the application form clearly, specifically, and neatly, and pass all the necessary requirements para wala nang maraming tanong ang taga DOST sa iyo. During examination, first, be at the venue before the calling time. Because before you can enter the venue, you need to fill up something. Next is organize your things. Prepare the test pyramid, your Mongol 2 pencil. Yeah, the standard pencil to use is Mongol 2 pencil. Your ball pen, your ID, your school ID. And of course, the most important one, prepare yourself. Dapat ready kang sumubok sa exam. At kapag sinabing ready, make sure to take the exam without an empty stomach. Kasi guys, DOST exam is such a long, long, long exam. Para iwas gutom, bring snacks and water. But, avoid foods na makarumi sa yung test paper. Kasi medyo strict ang DOST sa test papers. This is also important. Listen to the given instructions. Huwag magmadali sa pagsagot sa mga necessary information. At kapag sinabi ng proctor na stop na sa pagsasagot, Stop ka na. Siyempre, importante rin ang huwag mag-cheat. Dahil magagalit si God. Share ko lang, there are two parts in the DOST exam. First is the logical reasoning, and second is the power test. The subtest under the logical reasoning 
is the nonverbal and verbal reasoning. And under the power test are the subtests mathematics, science, English, and mechanical technical. Each subtest has a different time allotment. Siguro sa nonverbal at verbal reasoning ay 30 minutes. Sa science, 50 minutes. Sa math, 60 minutes. Hindi ako sure ha, pero parang ganun, different time natin. Kaya kapag sinabi nilang stop na, stop na, huwag madaya. At meron din silang rule na hindi ka pwede mag-proceed sa ibang subtest kung hindi pat natapos ang time allotment sa kasalukuyang subtest na sinasagutan nyo. Example, ang subtest ngayon ay ang math. Pero natapos ka 10 minutes before the time allotment, hindi ka pwede mo na mag-proceed sa science. Pero pwede mong balikan at i-review ang mga sagot mo sa math. In short, patience is a virtue. <laughs> also, don't forget to pray before the exam. Surrender your all to Him. Just do your best and let God do the rest. Check every item. Sinabi ko na kanina na kailangan nyo mag-review talaga sa mga sagot nyo and answer as many as you can. Ang strategy ko kasi kapag nahihirapan ako sa isang number, mag-skip muna ako at babalikan ko yun kung meron pang natitirang time. Pero kung wala na talaga at meron pa akong unshaded parts, ang gagawin ko na lang talaga is mag-sanggot at sanggot at you know that mag wild guest na lang ako <laughs> oh, yeah it works guys enjoy and relax don't be too hard on yourself you can only take the DOST exam once after examination pray after the exam submit everything to God the results will not make you more or less of a person just trust yourself na mapapasa mo ang exam and of course think positive always yan best Lastly, this is my favorite, treat yourself. You deserve a simple celebration for doing great in your exam. And that's it for our DOST vlog sips. Thank you for listening. God bless to all aspiring DOST is cause in his cast. I'm praying for the best and I can't wait to welcome you soon. Of course, I made this vlog because it is very timely. Lalo na ngayon na marami na talaga nakikitang post about the income, about DOST application sa newsfeed ko. That's why I made this vid. And also, I want to help guys. I mean, sibs lagi. I want to help sibs because naranasan ko rin at nafe-feel ko rin kung ano ang nafe-feel nyo ngayon. Hot <laughs> dog! Let's do it. I think that's our night. Or just do it. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it.